hello guys so today i am thinking to make a video on web scraping i hope you are liking my videos and please like share and subscribe so that i can make more videos on topics like this so today i'm planning to um uh, make a video on web scraping so the thing is we are going to uh, consider the courses from udemy website on power bi so i have searched here power bi and we are getting a list of all the courses that are there in udemy so let's copy this link head over to power bi and get data select web and paste the link over here click okay okay so we don't have access to this resource bad luck let's try with coursera Power BI. So over here we are getting a list of all the courses that are there on Power BI, and we have almost fifty-one pages. Okay, so let's take this link, edit, paste it over here, click OK, and wait for the response. Okay, so we are able to access the site, and now we are getting a table, and here we are seeing HTML code. J just click on this, and yep, we are getting the data over here. Let's head over to transform data. That is the table that we are looking for. Hmm. So, yep, we are able to get the data over here. But the thing is, we want the data for all those fifty-one pages, right? So we can't like you know pull data and each time for each single page. So the thing is, we are going to make a function for this, and then we are going to apply that function for those numbers one to fifty-one. and then we are going to get the all the data so let's create a function let's head over to yep advanced editor over here we are going to create a parameter num as text and the thing is we are getting data from this website and if you see carefully so this is the website name and we search for power bi and we were on page number 2 so we want data from page number 1 to page number 51 so what we are going to do here is we are going to replace it num and we are going to introduce parameters over here 1 to 51 each time so now when i am like 
putting a number one over here as text so it will concatenate over here as one and then as two and then as three and till 51 so let's click over here done now we got a parameter over here now we have to invoke this parameter on our table let's create a blank query So we got a list let's check if we can directly create a table over here i don't know i have never done that before nope not working one fifty one now let's convert this to table click on this okay and now we are going to invoke a function over here invoke custom function function query is table one so this is the function that i want to apply and where i want to apply on the column name and column name will be column one and click ok we are getting error okay so the thing is <coughs> we had entered over here that my parameter is a text and in this query over here this is data type any and not text so we have to create this we have to change the data type of this column as text And then if we click on this, we should get the tables. Now the function is getting applied on each and every uh, row. And you can see the progress over here in the corners over here. Four rows have been loaded and this will keep running till all the 51 rows have been loaded so guys the tape all the data has been loaded now we just have to click over here and okay And yep, we have all the data we needed. We have almost, we have got almost more than 199 rows. So this is how we do the web scraping guys. Thank you.